Hello, everybody. How's it going? We are here with a general and timeless reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay, so when I was meditating with the energy the word chimera was coming through. When I looked it up, the aspect of the definition, one of many um, that really stuck out to me, was that chimera can reference there being, it, it can speak about DNA and how it can basically be um, DNA that is put together or combined from two or more different organisms. That's what was sticking out to me. A lot about DNA has been coming through recently. We're starting off with the Queen of Cups. I'm seeing you figuring something out here. This can have to do with your, your gifts and your abilities that I'm seeing there be like a development with what you're able to do see this this queen of cups it looks like they're over here doing something kind of like in the zone i'm seeing like different energies working around and to have the king of swords come out too there may be something very important for you that you've been picking up on something that you've been doing something that you're learning to do or that you know how to do that you want to share you may be wanting to get the word out now about something. I'm seeing a truth that you carry with you that you may feel it's time to share, sort of come out about. Something that you may have been feeling kind of protective over because you felt like you weren't ready. For those of you that are new, I channel as well as interpret the tarot cards. So if you're wondering where I'm getting the information, that is where I'm getting it from. So yeah, it looks like, yeah, what whatever this is for you, it feels like something that you may have been holding that's now ready to be released. I'm seeing your guides be like, look, you're good. Get out there and do, do this, share it. There's something here that's important for you to share. It's about, it's about your delivery. Yeah, I'm seeing you be... I'm seeing there be an awakened being here now, but you may be sitting on something that you have not shared yet, something that you have not come out with, and maybe this was a lack of wanting to be seen. I'm kind of seeing this energy be like, maybe you feel like you're still like small or little or not ready to come out. The way that this lamb is looking in this four of swords it's kind of this period of like, am I ready to come out of this period where I haven't really been active in this way? And it's about something that you know and something that you're meant to be sharing. I'm seeing knowledge that you have that's associated with this. It's something that is like well underway that you're very capable now of doing. I'm seeing something that you've learned how to feel your way through and it's, t it's something that like you may do more privately, but it's time to come out with it. It's time to come forward with it. And it's about the intention behind what it is that you're speaking. And I'm seeing this awakening here that you have, but you may feel kind of like young or small or inexperienced. There's something about just feeling tiny. And maybe in comparison to whatever it is that you're comparing yourself to, where you're like, I don't know if I'm developed enough to be sharing that, but I'm seeing your guides be like, you're awake. Go out there and share it. Do it. But you may be comfortable sort of like laying down and not being seen right now, but I'm getting that something may be starting to weigh on you more heavily. It's like the more that you maybe don't come out with this or the more that you don't share this. It may have those those things that want to be expressed outwardly sort of turned towards you, maybe in a way that you don't want it to. Meaning, say you have these ideas that you want to get out there and you don't do it, it may be turning into like fear or negative thoughts or something like that um, that you don't find to be helpful to you. So meanwhile, you're over here like wide awake and I'm seeing you get to 
decide what direction the energy is going to take but a lot of it is being turned inwardly and you may find at this point that it's redundant and maybe not helpful to you because too many swords is going to turn into um you holding on to an energy that you may feel like sabotage this message that you have to share but you may be feeling um a bit sensitive to the energy currently but this is something that you're supposed to be getting out there it's something that I keep hearing it's well underway, like it's well underway, it's well on its way, but I'm seeing there be this tension that you're feeling and maybe a chaotic, like I don't really know what the next steps are for me to take, but you actually do. It's just about trusting yourself. And also too, sometimes when a decision isn't clear for you, as far as like you have three different options that you can pick from you don't know which one's going to be better than the other sometimes just picking one and continuing on with the journey is what's important because it's not about what you pick it's about picking something in that moment so you can continue but yeah i feel like there's a lot kind of clinking around your head i'm seeing you definitely have a lot of power and a lot of ideas. Yeah, this is about just getting to the point of getting organized enough to actually do something with it currently. That's what I'm seeing the point be for you. I'm seeing something's going to be coming full circle. This is going to feel like definitely a full circle moment for you, for sure. Where there's like a bigger picture here that you're going to see. Yeah, I'm seeing you getting ready to stand out from the crowd is what I'm hearing. It's like you sort of had to rise up out of the brush. And that process may have been challenging and difficult because of all of the things that could have potentially held you down if you allowed it to. But now I'm seeing you kind of come up with this. Up and out. So this feels like a, a sharing, a rising above... A ready and a willingness to be seen and to be heard. I'm seeing this be a mixture of the heart and the throat chakra. I'm also seeing you be very knowledgeable as well. But there can be a part of you that fears like, what if I make a mistake? But you're just being guided to allow your passions to carry you here. And to ground as well. And figure it out as you go. I get this feeling of like, I don't want to mess up, but you're being encouraged to just go out and try. There's going to be a learning curve with whatever it is that you're doing. If you already knew how to do it perfectly, there, you'd be done with this already. There would be no point in it. It would be accomplished. You'd be... What else is there for you to be doing? The whole point of this is to be a learning process for you. And to continue taking you continuously in the direction that you want to go. But yeah, if you knew it all, if you did it all, you wouldn't even be here doing any of this. So this is the whole point of it all. This right here. This whole moment. This is definitely feeling like an energetic check-in. Yeah, I'm hearing it's going to be like night and day. It's just something that you learn. You need to learn how to maneuver through right now that you're figuring out. It's not always going to be clear, but you just have to learn how to work with that and use that as inspiration rather than something that's going to hold you back. Like, you can use it one of two ways. Something that's going to, like, keep you like this, where you're not going anywhere, or something that's going to push you forward. Allow it to push you forward. It's also about seeing the... I'm hearing duplicity, but I see it more so, like, polarity of this. At times, too, you may feel like you have a lot to 
share. And when you get to that point where you feel a bit overwhelmed, it's about knowing the difference between when you're supposed to be out there doing your thing. Because it looks like you just getting out there in the first place has been like a very big ordeal at this point and that it's ready for this to, to happen and to take place. And I'm seeing there's going to be like a really profound outcome for you and that it's going to be a bit of a learning process. Like not everything is going to be perfect as far as your ego's understanding of it, but in the grand scheme of things, it's actually all unfolding perfectly. And rather than sitting on these things, you're meant to do something with this, to express your passion and to just pick something at this point. Because you may have a couple different things that you want to do um, or you may feel like you're at a point where you're stuck, but that's time to sort of um, organize things a bit for yourself. Because I'm seeing you taking this one opportunity that feels inspiring to you is going to lead you to many other doors that are going to be opening for you. And you're going to have many different options of what you can pick. And that's really been the point of this. And right now for some of you, I'm seeing you're still in hermit mode, still thinking about this, still feeling very overwhelmed. And now is the time your guides are like, come on. They're like get on stage. Let's see what you can do. I'm seeing it definitely be yeah, a moment like this. The beautiful thing about this as well is that for some of you, for many of you, you've been feeling very lonely, very, very lonely and wondering like where, where that person is or where these people are that you want to connect with and you getting up out there is a big part of this. It's going to I'm seeing that when you are by yourself, you feel comfortable being yourself. You may be at a point where you're like, I don't know how comfortable I am putting myself out there, but that's really the whole point of this because not only are you fulfilling what you need to fulfill within your journey and your purpose by doing this, an aspect of it, but you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable. You're allowing yourself to be seen. This is not only going to give permission to other people to and encourage them to do the same thing, to follow their joys and their passion and allow other people to be inspired by that. That's what you're doing here. It's also going to connect you with people. So coming back to this, like I'm feeling lonely at times, like where are my people that I want to connect with? How are they going to see you if you're hiding? So you have to get up on, on stage and allow yourself to be seen so people can connect with you. Because when you're vibrating in a frequency that is authentic to you, other people that are on that frequency are going to see that and be magnetized and want to come in and connect with you. And you're going to feel that energetically. So this is how you build your community is, how, is what I'm hearing. And I'm seeing you, your guides also be like, take the time right now to think about what the point of this is and what you're meant to learn from this. For some of you, you've already sort of started this process and now you may be looking back and being like, wow, look at where I've come with all of this. And you may be in a period of reflection right now. For some of you, this is about getting out there. For some of you, you could be rethinking, reworking something here. And it can be many different... Um, Places where one may find themselves upon the timeline. But no matter where you are, it's all going to come full circle. And it's all cyclical as well. I'm seeing like a couple different tracks that you could find yourself on, depending on the moment. For some of you, there's... Um, I'm looking at Virgo, healing work of some sort. Anything where you would be helping for the betterment and also there can be like a problem solving element to this as well where you may be like helping or assisting in some way. Could be even advising, educating, passing on information, but mostly it's about getting yourself out there and allowing yourself to be seen and allowing other people to be inspired by what you're doing. There's also been an energy too that's come through where sometimes you can 
like see another person do something and you look at it and think that it's so amazing thinking that that's just for them and that's outside of you when really it's meant to be inspiring you to be able to do that same exact thing in your own way. So rather than seeing someone do something and be like, wow, that's amazing. I wish that I could do that too. It's seeing that as a permission slip for you to be able to express yourself in that way and to continue the cycle of inspiration among the collective. I'm hearing among your group, among your people. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.